Coming with us. Nice and easy. Don't think so. Not bad. Oh, it's it's the Final Fantasy VII remake. It's been two years since this, since this came out, and I still can't believe that this is real. This is probably one of the most anticipated games of all time. Most people remember that this all started in 2005 during E3 when Sony released a remade version of the Final Fantasy VII intro as a tech demo for the PS3, leading so many people to think that it was about to be an announcement of a Final Fantasy VII remake, myself included. But you might also remember three years earlier than this when Square mentioned remakes of 7, 8 and 9 for the PlayStation 2, so over a decade of speculation and waiting for something, anything, to materialise from all of this, but it never really did. The 10th anniversary of the game came and went, and nothing. Square denied any existence of a remake during this time, and honestly, I don't think they had any plans for it. I'm sure internally this idea was floated around. Maybe the project even got off the ground more than once. I kind of gave up on the idea of it after a while. I figured it just, it wasn't going to happen at this point, especially since at this time, like JRPGs, they were really struggling as well to break into the mainstream. But then it happened in 2015. Tetsuya Nomura, Yoshinori Kitase, Kazushige Nojima, Otomunu Toriyama, and Nobuo Uematsu, they're all back together and the Final Fantasy VII Remake was announced. All of these guys felt it was up to them to deliver this remake because they felt that if they waited much longer that they'd be too old or maybe they even wouldn't be alive anymore to complete this project. And they felt that passing this off to a new generation, that just didn't feel right. That didn't sit right with them. This was a monumental project. The scope of this project is completely insane. They decided early on that this isn't going to be a simple remaster, oh no. This is going to be a straight up, from the ground up remake. Redesigned characters, a reworked story, all new gameplay, fully voiced, and focused entirely on the Midgar section of the original game because a single release covering the entire story? Well, that just wouldn't have been possible without cutting major parts of the original story out. So, we're heading back into a massively expanded Midgar and I'll talk more about the development history as we go, because if I cover all of this now in the introduction, it, like the introduction alone is going to be the length of, of a full episode, and I'm really itching to play this again. But for me, personally, given my relationship with the original, I didn't know what to think going into this. This might sound a little silly, but I was really scared. I was actually considering not playing it at all, but eventually I decided to pre-order it. I was going to try and keep an open mind, but at the same time I was just worried that this was going to be so vastly different to what I wanted. I tried to convince myself to see this more as a Crisis Core 2 than a Final Fantasy 7 remake, but I was just kidding myself. There was no way I could just switch off like that. Not for this game. Not for this story. Not for these characters. I... I needed this to be good. I was so emotionally invested that I actually felt sick. I was shaking, for real. So, 
I sat myself down on the sofa, PS4 controller in hand and a whole lot of snacks and I started it up. And I was in tears within moments. This intro, it hit me really hard. It brought up stuff that I hadn't felt in years prior. The visuals, the music, it hit a nerve that had been closely guarded for many years since that original experience of the PS1 game. When the camera pulls out, you see Midgar at this fidelity, and then the logo appears and that classic song swells up. I was breathless. Like I'd seen that scene recreated over and over again in crisis calls and tech demos, but not like this. This was real. I was playing the Final Fantasy VII remake. So for now, I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to let the game do the talking. So I might not talk much during the opening 30 minutes of this game, just watch and experience it with me. And then I'll come back and talk about what I was thinking at the time. But know this, it's fucking incredible and I will see you after the first boss. with us can't get surrounded Soldier Boy's deal. Is he one of us now? He's got balls, this, uh, uh, what was his name again? Cloud. Cloud Strife. Right. And he isn't a soldier anymore. Still, he's a professional, unlike the rest of us. I'm glad to have him. <laughs> this is a one time gig. When it's done, we're done. Uh, uh, uh. Real joy to work with, though. Real joy to look at, too. Here we go. Looks are what people notice first. Good enough. people. I'd say you're not even reading the same book. Enough. We're done here. Or even the same... Give it a rest. Come on. Nobody do something this crazy just for money. They may not think you're a true believer, but you know what I think? Not interested. What? Uh, Every last gill.
No escape. Shit. That's that. Let's go. So fast, we've got company. Should be easy. See ya. All right. Here it comes. Not bad. Soldiers may attack on command, but I hear they make good guard dogs, too. Bet you've seen a few reactors. So how do we get to the bridge above Mako storage? <clears throat> Ain't holding out on me, are you? Stamp scared to bite the hand that fed him? Or is he a loyal little doggy? <clears throat> Have it your way, Mutt. We can do this with you, or we can do this without you. Different reactor, different layout. Depends when it was built. Never seen one like this, but I'll manage. Don't you worry. Biggs will have the door open soon. In three, two... Damn, I'm good. Who's there? Door! Whoa, oh, wait! It's over! That's my line. He's alone! We can take him! Make it rain! It's over. We're back! Then let's move. Cut it out. It's a good thing I know someone who can get us the passcodes. <sighs> Pity no one else at command will talk to us, but what can you do? <sighs> and we're good. Careful in there. <clears throat> I got this place covered. Tifa, right? It's not really my business, but are you guys close?
Tifa and I. Sewer rats appear to call themselves Avalanche, sir. We are currently investigating whether they belong to the same group that made the attempt on your life. Rest assured, our inquiries will not take much longer. <laughs> this pump's sole purpose is to drain the planet dry. While you sleep, while you eat, while you shit, it's here sucking up, Marco! It doesn't rest, and it doesn't care! You do realize what Mako is, don't you? Mako is the lifeblood of our world. The planet bleeds green like you and me bleed red. The hell you think's gonna happen when it's all gone, huh? Answer me! You gonna stand there and pretend you can't hear the planet crying out in pain? I know you can! You really hear that? Damn straight I do. Get help. <laughs> Say that again. <clears throat> I'd worry less about the planet and more about the next five seconds. Save the screaming for later. Our lives are on the line now. You listening, Merc? One false move. And that happens. Well, so much for having Cloud do all the fighting. There are some places a sword just can't reach. <laughs> just bear with him for me, would you? <sighs> yeah. Should have asked for more money. Now, on 
to the objective. Look. They don't call those things sweepers for nothing. They can wipe out a whole squad in seconds. Not if you wipe the floor with them first. can take this hunk of junk! That hunk of junk is a heavy weapons platform. If we rush in, we die. Is that right? We need to hit it with magic. So that should give us an opening. <laughs> Call each Hey! It's not moving! Let's pin it down. Give it all you've got. Just had to get back up. So we knock it down again. No time to complain. Now's our chance. Go. Don't need to tell me twice. I'm going to enjoy this. Goddamn rank? I, uh. Though for all I know, a soldier's rank could be the same as his age. <laughs> Guess that make you a one year old, huh? Live and learn! our target, the reactor core. Gotta set the bomb at the bottom. Let's get down there. God damn. I can practically make the lock on here. Hurry it up! Oh, it's pounding like a jackhammer. Scared, huh? <laughs> More like excited. I've been dreaming about this for years. Heads up, boys. The end in sight. I'll leave the rest in your capable hands. Good luck. I'm gonna enjoy this! Keep it together. Need my help, do you? Get your ass out of here! I'm counting on you! Take it over. Let's see if Little Stamp really can bite the hand that feeds. Hmm. Go on. Do the honors. Prove to me you're the man Tifa says you are. That you're one of us. Never said I was. I'm just here for the paycheck. 
Then do the damn job! Fine. What about the timer? Your call, Merc. Pretty cocky, ain't you? <gasps> you double crossing! Heads up! What in the hell? Hey, how the hell do we fight this thing? It's got reinforced armor plating, but the internals can be overloaded. Lightning magic. Huh. No other option, huh? huh? Deal with that. All right, watch and learn. Huh. This is gonna stay. Hell yeah! You see the damage that did? Keep it up. Time to front. Ah! Your brilliant plan, genius.
Watch the tail. You don't want to be hit by that laser. Huh? So, what do we do? Don't get hit. Take cover behind that debris. Strike now, before it fires again. Here it comes. I'll end this. You're out of luck. Gotta memorize the attack patterns. Try this. What's steady. Find an opening. Thing showed you how it's done. Come on, we've got to move. Go, go, go! Do I look 
back, okay? Help a girl out, would you? <clears throat> My hero! Hey! We'll link up over there! Look after Jesse! Come this way! This route should lead us straight to Barrett. Probably. I think I see an exit. Come on! Don't look back! Let's go, let's go, let's go! Shut up and climb. You're not helping. Sorry, it just... it keeps me focused. I'll freak out if I don't talk. Have it your way. There it! I've got you covered! Find us a way out of here! But then... Don't worry, I'll be fine. I've got a soldier boy with me. X, soldier boy. They're here! Take them down! We don't have time for this shit! The clock's ticking! Cool it. Five seconds is all we need. Brace yourself. Enough. Sir, 
walk? If I couldn't, believe me, you'd be the first to know. I'll take that as a yes. That was pretty cool. <laughs> All right, come on. Looks like we made it. And with nothing but a few scratches to show. <laughs> Think you might have overdone it? I followed the instructions to the letter. Maybe it triggered a reaction with the Mako? Well, let's hope the city's still in one piece. But the plan is what matters, right? <laughs> I mean, this must have helped some. After all that, it had better have. Anyway, let's get going. We in Sector 8? That'd be just down there. All right, then. Lead the way. You got it. Huh. <laughs> Watch out for live wires. They're everywhere. And breathe. <laughs> the air in here reeks. Can't wait to get out in the open. So, that's the introduction to the Final Fantasy VII Remake. Man, what is that? So, by this point, I was so happy, I was thinking, my god, they've, <laughs> they've actually done it. Like, this is really amazing. And this is, the, this is kind of the approach that they take to the whole entire rest of the game, right? They take what was already there, and they turn it up to, like, 20. <laughs> Like, everything's so much more fleshed out and just, yeah, it's just all so epic. Like, I really, I really like this game. <laughs> they change a lot, which we'll definitely get into. And we'll definitely get into the gameplay and the story and all of that, all that good stuff as we go. But yeah, but like by this point, I was so, so happy. Like, all of my apprehension was gone. I was like, at this point, I was just thinking, I can't believe... I can't believe they've actually done it. <laughs> you can see all of the love and care that went into this game. But the one thing I will say is the way they handled the music is incredible. And I don't just mean like the compositions, like obviously the compositions are great, but I mean the way that the music fades in and out, like using f bod or whatever it is they use, like the dynamic music. It's so well implemented. It's probably the best implementation of that kind of thing that I've seen. This game is just, like, from a technical standpoint, it's got to be one of the best games ever made right now. <laughs> like, so much love and so much work went into this, and I cannot wait to see the rest of it. And next time, I promise I'll do a lot more talking, and <laughs> so it's a bit less just like watching, watching a, a commentary-less game. But I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye!